Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study mineral oil. There are several group uh, which are silica, feldspar, mica group, feldspathoid group, amphibole, pyroxene and uh, zeolite group. In this video, uh, we are going to discuss silica group in details. Before diving, let's uh, look at a glance in all our slides. Silica group includes both quartz and opal. First, let's study quartz in details. Quartz can be identified by its colorless uh, or white appearance. Uh, practically, it can be any color. Its daphinity is transparent to translucent. Daphinity means degree of transparency. Streak means color of a mineral when it is powdered. Its streak is white. Absence of cleavage is another characteristic of quartz. Cleavage is the tendency of a mineral to break in definite uh, direction. Luster means uh, the appearance of a mineral in light. Macrocrystalline quartz uh, has vitreous luster, where cryptocrystalline quartz exhibit waxy or dull luster. Its hardness uh, is 7. Hardness means resistance uh, to scratching and fracture is conchoidal. Fracture uh, means non-directional breakage of a mineral. So fracture is the nature of broken surface of a mineral. Now let's look at the varieties of quartz. There are two kinds, uh, ma macrocrystalline. Macrocrystalline quartz has larger individual crystals that are visible to the naked eye, uh, which have uh, usually vitreous luster. Cryptocrystalline quartz has much smaller crystals that are not individually distinguishable without magnification, which have uh, greasy or waxy luster. The example of macrocrystalline quartz are rock crystal, milky quartz, amethyst, uh, smoky quartz, rose quartz, etc. Cryptocrystalline quartz are chalcedony, plasma, jasper, agate, flint, char, tiger sci, etc. In this figure, you can uh, see the macrocrystalline quartz, which all have uh, vitreous luster. Vitreous luster are very common in quartz. These luster are like broken glass. The rock crystals form is hexagonal dipyramid. It is colorless and uh, transparent. The hardness of rock crystal is 7 and its streak is white. It has a uh, vitreous luster and conchoidal fracture cleavage is absent and specific gravity is average it has special property like uh, striation perpendicular to c axis striations are very thin parallel groups on crystal faces like groups on cd so the diagnostic property of rock crystal is colorless appearance transparency seven hardness vitreous luster, conchoidal fracture, and absence of cleavage. Next is milky quartz. Milky quartz can be identified by its milky white color, seven hardness, uh, vitreous luster, conchoidal fracture, and absence of cleavage. Next, a beautiful mineral is amethyst, which is violet in color. It has also seven hardness, uh, vitreous luster, conchoidal fracture, absence of cleavage, and special property like striation also uh, present in amethyst. Then here you can see smoky quartz, which can be uh, diagnosed by its smoky gray color, crystalline form, seven hardness, uh, vitreous luster, conchoidal fracture, absence of cleavage. Here you can see a uh, light pink rose quartz. It also diagnosed by its um, seven hardness, vitreous luster, conchoidal fracture, absence of cleavage, uh, and uh, especially light pink color. Its uh, diaphanity uh, seems translucent. Next, we are going to study cryptocrystalline quartz. 
here are some of the pictures of crypto crystalline quartz crystals here are so tiny that they form a dense uniform mass uh, which which have greasy or waxy or dull luster now you can see chalcedony which is diagnosed by its bluish gray color uh, its botryoidal form translucent diaphanity seven hardness waxy luster conchoidal fracture and absence of cleavage next mineral is plasma it can be identified by its bottle green color uh, seven hardness its dull luster and its diaphanity is translucent and streak is white to pale green its fracture is conchoidal and there is no cleavage found here now uh, you can see brick red color jasper uh, which has earthy luster conchoidal fracture absence of cleavage translucent diaphanity and seven hardness this uh, beautiful banded mineral is called agate it has uh, bands of different colors its diaphanity is translucent to opaque it has seven hardness greasy luster conchoidal fracture and also absence of cleavage next you can see flint which can be uh, diagnosed by its grayish black color here you can see its nodular form its diaphanity is opaque hardness is seven streak white uh, luster is greasy and conchoidal fracture and absence of cleavage also seen there now you can see a chart which can be identified by its light brown to dark brown color translucent diaphanity seven hardness uh, white streak greasy luster conchoidal fracture absence of cleavage here is a tiger's eye tiger's eye can be identified by its golden yellow color seven hardness especially its silky luster conchoidal fracture and cation c cation c is an optical phenomenon exhibited by certain minerals in reflected light in which a movable wavy or silky uh, sheen of light that changes its position as the mineral is turned from one side to another and absence of cleavage next mineral of silica group is opal opal can be uh, diagnosed by its pale brown color 5.5 hardness vitreous to waxy luster conchoidal fracture and it has a, a special property which is called uh, opalescence a milky or pearly reflection from the interior of a mineral is known as opalescence and other than that uh, absence of cleavage is another characteristic of opal that's all for today in our next class we are going to discuss uh, feldspar group which include both potash feldspar and plagioclase feldspar see you in our next video if this video seems helpful to you please like and subscribe earth detective and also visit our youtube channel where we upload uh, lots of videos based on earth science we also organized the videos in playlist based on uh, topics feel free to explore and uh, suggest us what you want to learn from us you can also check description for links of our social media website for resources a powerpoint file and further discussion thanks for watching